can't believe it's going to be Spooktober already. Think about all the spooks and scares that are going to happen for this month. It's just sometimes it's hard to conceive of right now. Oh, there's actually an invisible wall above that branch. They really don't want me to go up there. Okay. Point taken. Goodbye. Goodbye, animal friends. Oh. Didn't expect to find you here. Also, I have no map right now, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Let's pass this. Oh, I can keep going. Alright, maybe this will give me something, so let's talk. The Shrouded Lantern! This mysterious haze bellows out of its stem. If we find a way to light it, the path might clear up once again. Vaguely almost rhyming. That's what we come to expect in stories. Where does this go? Nowhere. This game has gone full mojo rampage, yeah. I added that last word for you. I knew it's what you meant. Alright, so there's, for some reason, there's like a pile of lasers coming through that wall. And they just keep giving me free XP, too. It's like double XP weekend or something. I think you just want me to, like, boost through that, right? Because I can do that, no problems. This is like, they're still checking, like, you remember about that ability we put on Y for you, right? Because it's like, we really want you to use that ability. We're just going to make all these opportunities for you to use it. Which is fair. I mean, they did give us that ability. Might as well show it respect. Also, I think this area is kind of, like, swirling a bit. It could just be the smoke. It's probably the smoke. Oh, that's a wall. What did you... Oh, you put a freaking pink thing on top of my trampoline. How rude. You hadn't even spit that thing out of your mouth yet, and I was already using it to boost off of... Okay, so let's probably do that a, a bit better next time. Oh, I know about the feather. You don't need me to even use the feather. That's... extra. Okay, maybe I need to use the feather. Just because they're taking a bit too long to, uh, spit these things out. Oh, careful. You just got done listening to the newest roundtable. Did you like it? I hope you liked it. Okay, I see a keystone. I don't know what I need to unlock yet with it, but I see it. Yeah, this place is definitely a little bit shifty. Uh, oh geez. I feel like we're doing that Earthworm Jim snot level again. Or, uh... What was it? It was like a crusty booger level or something like that. Those were wild games, Earthworm Jim. Deceived by the mist, they were lost in the woods. It's a common theme among storytelling. Was that area just not here a second ago, and now it is? Hey, Minorino, how's it going? Thanks for coming by. Oh, I thought I could grapple off that lantern. I could not. Atsu's torch! It was lost in this place. If we carry it to the shrouded lantern, it might show us the way. I can almost guarantee that it will. Considering I don't really have any other options. Now, how do I get to it? That's the next question through here. Nope. Oh, down here?
I want to get under the ground, but there's no way through. Oh, I think the mist is, is trying to mess with my head. Probably on purpose, because mist is just shifty like that, like I said. Alright, that was maybe not the most ideal way to do what I was trying to do. If we're just going down, like, it's not a big deal. Don't really need to boost off of things. At this point, I have so many freaking orbs that I can save all the time. Plus, they're just giving me more anyway. Is that all that was here? I find that hard to believe. A cubby hole with a single enemy in it? That's that's my reward for finding this? Yeah, it looks like it. Have you played Grow Home yet? If not, check it out. It's very fun. I intend to. In fact, that was one of the next ones on my list. I've been told quite a few times to try it. Alright, there's a lot of spikes here. It's also kind of hard to see with everything freaking wobbling everywhere. I don't think I've hardly found a single Metroidvania game that doesn't use some sort of weird warbly uh, shader effect at some point in its campaign. Oh, great aim, though. Great aim. Bravo. I guess we'll just save Scum. They don't really discourage it. Plus, I gain health every time, so not really a downside. I guess they expect that I'm going to really want to use my explosion effect a lot, and since I just don't, it's like, not a problem. Oh, Jesus. That's that's a lot of enemies here. Probably meant to clear these out one at a time. Very much excessive, I would say. I'm now going to be singing the entire soundtrack from Nightmare Before Christmas all day, thanks. Sorry. It is a bit of an earworm of a soundtrack, though. I will give you that. Okay. Tatsu used to climb the mountains high atop Sorrow Pass. When her brother's torch faded, she fell to the mists where she lost her path. What do I get? These are Kazo statues, by the way. I've learned climb, so I can hold right trigger when I'm against a wall and travel on its surface. Wow. That's... That's so strong. That's, like, so much more powerful than I accepted, or expected. Thank you for turning into those. Not for those. That's that's the real power right there. Turn spikes into flowers and then climb on them. They're giving me so many movement options. Uh, also, there's no map. I really need to get this mist away. Oh, right. These guys don't get hurt. You could have just fallen into the spikes. It would have been just fine. I don't know if this is the right way. I mean, once I can see the map, then I can, like, go back and chart it out. So, oh, these are alternating. What? Oh, they do the... Every time you jump, they change thing. Okay, right. Yeah, no, I know how this works. I've played I Want to Be the Guy games before. I am the law. You think Jude Law ever says that to people? Probably all the time, right? If I was him, I'd say it like once a minute for my entire life. All right, this is basically hell on earth. But I'm pretty sure I'm meant to go the other way. I just wanted to see what was... Oh yeah, this is just a loop back around. What is Ori? 
Hard to say exactly. I'm saying it's some sort of dragon fox kitten Lilo and Stitch. Whatever it is, it's real cute. And apparently quite dexterous and agile. Alright, I guess that's one way to clear those out. Alright, so we gotta jump when we're on that point. Nope. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I thought I knew how this worked. Yeah, you know, both Lilo and Stitch. I mean, why just one? Why not both? How about we just don't use the other platform and skip that entirely? I think that's the better of the two options there. It seems to just be like one set of jumps, but not your individual jumps that change it. I think that's what was messing me up so much, but whatever. I mean, if there's more, I'll figure it out. Oh, we're doing like a Mega Man Womp puzzle. Why? <laughs> I probably could have just gotten that a while ago without needing any of those plants. Whatever. Played the game before the game played me. What's up with the early stream today? I just woke up and wanted to play more Ori because I really liked it from last night. Oh, there's a massive laser beam right there. No screaming lady is music. Yeah, Axiom Verge had a screaming lady is music. Oh, really? This is what we're up to now? I mean, I follow, but... How do I... Okay. How do I get it to trigger again? I think, did you finish Naruto? I got pretty far in Naruto, but I don't think I've finished it, no. no like, episode 150-something. Oh, I probably fall, yeah, and not jump. It's a trap. Oh, wait, before I do that. This is pretty. Wait, wait, I'm not done with this yet. Thank you. I don't know, I just figured there might be something up here. Oh god. Got myself stuck in the ceiling. I'm a crazy dude. Let's leave. Oh no, that's spikes. I thought I could land there. Some very interesting platforming challenges coming from these. Oh god. Pretty sure this was meant for me to just stop and make my own checkpoint here. Cool. Well, that was interesting. Are we out of the other end now? Also, I have to say the frame rate has been much improved since I turned on V-Sync. It's rarely the case that that actually fixes it, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I'm happy it's fixed. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. There is no coming back from this. I will just flail. 
Have I played Guacamelee? I've only played a few minutes of it. I look forward to playing it, though. I know I'm gonna like it. Okay, yep. I did it again. I hate that you can't, like, recover, really, from this. How can V-Sync improve v uh, FPS? It's not that it improved the FPS, it was stuttering a little bit, and... Turning on V-Sync made it stop stuttering, so that's what I meant by that. There's the keystone. Mr. Musaneta, thank you very much for your three months of support. Much appreciated. Let's get a little hype in the chat, please, if you guys don't mind. You can take the hype of whatever you so choose. I think I need to go up from underneath that. That's what I thought. Hooray, another energy cell. Might as well save here as well. So, you don't actually expect me to have to then go back, do you? I don't actually know where I'm going from here. Like, this seems like the end of the line. Which is weird. You didn't get a notification I was streaming? That sucks. I am, though. Hi. <laughs> There's spikes here again. Okay, we'll stop trying to explore this zone. There's nothing down here for me. I just keep thinking there is. Is that the big challenge? Is like you've made it all the way to the depths of this and now go through the whole thing again backward? Just to prove that these platforming challenges are versatile or something. Because actually these seem super annoying. Is this really where I'm supposed to go? I'm sure somebody here has played this before. You can tell me uh, in chat, am I just straight up going the wrong way or am I meant to backtrack here? sucks that there's no map. I mean, this is, like, the main crux of the situation. Oh, I can't use those? Okay, I can use that, though. Hey! A lever door. Now, can I open it? I'm gonna guess no. Meant to backtrack. Okay, thank you. It's rather awkward. This is new. I don't even know what's ground half the time in this. Please tell me I just went in a big loop for no reason. Nope. Ah, there we go. Oh, I did it. Why did I go through here? This can't just be a dead end for no reason. I really doubt that they just put this in here just to be like, there's nothing here, enjoy going in a circle. So, like, I thought I was here before, but maybe not. No, maybe not.
It all looks very similar, and it's really hard to tell where I'm going. I think this is where I came out of. I understand contextually what they're trying to do here is mess with my head a little bit because the mists have obscured things. Yeah, no, I get that. But, like, this is weird. This is probably the annoying thing that the, somebody on Twitter was telling me about. I'm trying to grab this projectile. Mmm. Am I actually trapped in here now? Oh, I needed a damage boost over that. Yeah, this guy. This guy will help me out. There we go. Not an intended way to go, but it seems to work. Oh, don't die. Deadly dodge. I just got an achievement. Also, when I just started up the game today, it gave me like five achievements. I don't know what I did while I was not playing the game, but apparently it was really good. I feel like I've escaped the cycle. What is this? Is this like a boss or something? What's happening right now? All the bosses seem to involve the same sort of pattern, so I'm, I'm wondering. They most all seem to dive out of the ground and shoot a thing at me. They're giving me more than average a a XP, so I'm gonna assume that this is a thing I'm meant to kill. There's also a door here that's locked. And it's now unlocked. What's up here? Nothing. And that must be the door that I meant to go get those keystones for. What actually was that area. I feel like I had to purposely break the game to get out of it, and if I hadn't, I don't know how I would have ever left. What? Oh, you actually want me to carry this thing? Well, let's put it down for a second, because I want to look over here first. Once I'm carrying it, I can't freaking touch any of these walls. Do I, like, get a map when I'm holding this? No. Oh yeah, I can use my next power. Rapid flame! Yes, please. Look how much faster it is. Okay, what happens now? You just want me to, like, very slowly walk through this. I'll just tank the hits. Who cares? Very odd. And I hope this is the right way. Because I'm going to be frustrated if it's to go back. Okay, cool. It just kind of took me in a direct path. Not bad at all, then. You... You wanted the thing, right? Isn't this where I put it? 
Didn't you want me to put the thing here? Or is this going somewhere else? I'm confused. Why no mana upgrades? Because they're not necessarily mana upgrades. They do a whole bunch of, like, mappy kind of things that I didn't necessarily care about. Um, I really wanted to prioritize triple jump first, and then I wanted to put things into damage. I'm just playing it in a slightly different way than most would. Can't you just put it down? I did put it down and nothing happened. I thought I was meant to just put it on this little pedestal here. But it just sits in front of it. Oh. Okay, I guess I did it fine. At least they had the sense to uh, use good game design to create a situation where you couldn't take that ball any further so you couldn't screw yourself more. That's nice of them to have. We lit the Shrouded Lantern, it lifted the haze. Ori, the key to the Forlorn Runes, the Guman Seal has been revealed. Reveal the seal. You found the Guman Seal. Using this key, you can gain entrance to the Forlorn Runes. Fantastic. And more importantly, hopefully I can see the map of this area again. Uh, the element of winds is deep within the Forlorn Rune. South of this place, not too far from here, I can show you the way. Guess what, buddy? I already found it. Yeah, find the thing that you already found. There's the path. Got it. Are you serious? That's that's the forest I just walked through. Well, at least I got 100% of it, so I never have to go back. It's actually, like, straight up not possible. There were so many places that are now not here. I went on all these freaking crazy journeys. Also, there's whatever that is right there in a the little branchy area. I don't really want to fight any of you. If we could all just get on with our lives, please. I've got much better things to do than deal with you. Oh, if you don't get it, it's just gone. That's awful. I guess good on me, then, that I got 100% of that area before I left it. That also explains why these guys were so much harder. Oh, also why I couldn't leave, because I didn't have the climb ability then. I freaking walked into that again. Oh my god. Wait, so have I not... It says I got 100%, but why are there people saying that there's obscure secrets? Like, did I win or no? Hey, Buckers, how's it going? I'd like to figure out how to get this freaking rhino thing to break through this wall right here. I mean, I guess I can't do it. Ow. Jeez, you guys are annoying. I can't use bash on walls, so no. As much as I'd like to. Unless I can now use bash on walls now that I can climb, but that would be silly if they didn't tell me that. Just 
grab this edge and check. Yeah, there's not actually a way to do that. You'd have to hit down while jumping while also attached to a wall. Okay, we're here. Open her up. Ah, there we go. 